After spending almost two years as a PvP locked hardcore Ironman and one year as a hardcore Ironman hunter, I have decided to return to being a hardcore in PvP worlds. However, this time my private will be on at all time. My in game name is How Much For Off, and my bounty is on screen and it's consistently increasing every single day. In the last episode, I accused this man, Witu, of using scout bots. But after further investigation, we have come to the conclusion that he was not using scout bots. I'm not going to get into how I know this. But with that being said, let's get into today's episode. So yeah, I'm back after being gone for, what is it, one month of dead man mode? I have no idea where I left off. I'm not even a member anymore. In the last episode I was discussing private off or on and uh, as of today I have decided we are going to go private off. I'm gonna make this post to inform everyone who's hunting me that I am now officially private off PvP Hardcore Iron Man. So good luck to me. Buckets. This is how my smithing grind looked like a couple of weeks ago, but now I can finally start smithing. Private off gang, we're loving it right now. I think we're gonna do steel dart tips here. Uh, get some fletching experience as well. 45 smithing. All right, we can get our stats up here at the solo mission dungeon. We're gonna get plenty of herbs here as well. Beautiful, look at that. 41 attack, boom, 42 attack, 43 attack. All right, I'm gonna flick online offline to show people that I'm online. Boom, boom. However, if the wrong people who wants me killed knows that I'm online, they can send DDoS attacks to my internet to make me disconnect. And for this reason, I use NordVPN to protect myself from all these bad people. And luckily for all of us, NordVPN is today's video sponsor. With NordVPN, all of your internet data stays safe behind a wall of next generation encryption. NordVPN allows us to change our IP address, giving us an extra layer of security. Who knows, maybe NordVPN could have saved this year's finals on the Dead Mammal Tournament. NordVPN.com slash Engineer, link in the description. And by changing IP address with NordVPN, you also get worldwide access to enjoy hundreds of streaming websites worldwide. Choose from over 5,000 servers in 59 different countries. Enjoy the internet with no limits and no borders. If you use my link, you will get a two-year plan at a huge discount plus four months for free. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. NordVPN.com slash C-Engineer spelled out C-E-N-G-I-N-E-E. Are. Link in the description down below. And there we go, 4 to 4 attack. Private on engineer would have made a full episode about this, but the chaos truths. But private off engineer getting 5 levels within a few seconds at this one spot. But I'm AFKing a lot more, so when someone actually finds me, I might not be paying attention. There we go, 4 to 5 attack. Look at all the herbs I've gotten. 14 Ranners, 13 Hairlanders. I don't even have to farm anymore. Look at all that. Every now and then I'm gonna give cryptic hints to the hunters of my location. In this occasion, I gave them 42 agility experience from the shortcuts to reach my position. So anyone who's a big brain citizen, they will know that I'm here by the chaos roots. This is exactly what I used to do when I used to hunt, so I feel like the hunters need to step up their game if they want the 7 billion. And that's 46 attack, 47 attack, 48 attack. All right, we are 48 combat, almost 50, and we do have a quest right here. The Grand Tree giving us enough experience to get 50 attack. I just need to go back to the cave where I Almost died. Oh, and of course, before we forget, a full herb sack unloaded. Upgrade staff, 200k. Yep, there we go. Rest in peace, 200k. We got 2,500 charges on this thing. Beautiful. Someone's gonna be down there, I just know it. Oh, almost here. There we go. Grand tree completed. Did we get 50 attack? Beautiful. We got some agility as well. The Ivan staff have been unlocked. Beautiful, beautiful. We do love to see it. And if we want to, we can start the Monkey Madness quest. Look at him waiting. 
<laughs> it's another day, another hint. We're gonna bury a big bone. So anyone who tracks my experience will see that I'm killing a giant somehow. If they are a big brain citizen, they will know. We do like these uh, little high alts here from the fire giants. Thank you. 62 hit points. Almost 62 combat. I think we're gonna stop right there. I want to do something very very interesting something very special for me I want to unlock Shazian armor for shaman's killing so we got to go here kill these five times then kill these five times then kill these five times Etc. Yo, look at the lighting in HD. Look at me. Oh my god. This is so cool But I got to go back to normal. There we go. And there we go. That's the final kill. We got ourselves the full Shazian armor right there. We can go and kill Elizabeth and Shamans now. But we need to make sure no one sees this armor. Ever. If someone finds out that we are killing Elizabeth and Shamans, we are doomed. Here we are, Elizabeth and Shaman. And we're gonna have a hint as always. Um, the first hint is one kill. And then we're hopping worlds. There we go, one kill. Let's hop world. Chaos runes, thank you. Alright, we're gonna consistently get these kind of drops. Rune, Warhammers, High Ox, easy, what is it, 20k cash? Beautiful. There we go, 65 range. Uh, one trip done, we made like 80k, so that's beautiful. And every time we teleport to bank, we need to remove all our gear, so no one really knows uh, what we're doing. Oh, look at these Mystic Staff drops. Look at the coins I'm getting. 259 to 284, 25k per staff. And I've gotten so many so far. Another staff and coin go up. Yeah, a lot of drilling today from my neighbor. I think I'm gonna call it there. Another rune war hammer. Coin go up. All right, we got 522k coins. So it's time to invest in another portal chamber. 100k just gone like that. But I don't know what teleports I want to unlock. So we're just gonna build these frames right here. I, I, I got bored, so I did a barrel chest. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. Elite clue scroll. And I can't even enter that. And there we go. 66 range. 28 slayer. Who is... Why is there an account here? <laughs> like, why? I am slowly using up all my food and Piscarillus is the perfect place to restock. But it is multi. Very scary. Alright, uh, 48 raw swordfish. This should last me a while. To get back to the shamans, we need a lot of irrits. So we are back at the case roots. There we go, 63 hit points. Is that a combat level? Yep, that is a combat level. 62 combat. 67 range, beautiful. And for some reason, we only got two irrit leaves from all those 230 kills roots killed. But, um, when the when this got but logs, there we go. And no one's out here, right? There we go. This should be 48 smithing. We can now make the steel plate bodies. Do this real quick. We need our seed packs. We need irrits from the seed pack. All right, we got some. Lantadime, Marantil. Irrits, yes! Four. Beautiful. We can farm shamans a lot this week. Here comes the level 60 herb lore. Beautiful. 60 herb lore completed according to Vagina Smiter. Okay. As you can see on the screen, I am all over the place. 49 fletching. Thank you. Look, we have made ourselves our first ring of wealth. Here's the thing, here's the problem. I need to go to the Fountain of Rune to actually charge this Ring of Wealth. But I don't want to go there. Yeah, I'm too scared. Lag. Oh my god. That lag made me panic teleport, so now someone could have seen this armor. That fucked everything up. Lag is so bad, I'm here making steel plate bodies now. 49 smithing. 50 smithing. You can now smelt mithril ore. Ooh, alright. Alright, I've been TB'd in free to play. Alright, I'll buy runes another time. So I've been splashing on this account and I got 68 magic. Come here, dragon implane. Come here. There we go, we got a dragon implane. It's been a long time since I opened one of these. Dragon darts. One day I'm gonna get that blowpipe, mark my words. 
It is time for me to do something I'm quite scared about, and that's the deranged archaeologist. This boss can one-hit me very easily, especially at a low level, which I am. 63 hit points. However, the reward from here is amazing. A black dehyde body with a drop rate of 1 in 21. If I manage to get this black dehyde body, my defense for the future is gonna be a lot higher. Especially for tanking teleblocks. Ah, uh, first kill count. Numolite, water runes, onyx bolt tips, rune to age, cannonballs. <gasps> yes, we got it, we got it, we got it. We're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Black D had body completed. Let's go. I'm so happy we got it. Under drop rate, uh, 14 kill count. Look at that. I can't wear it right now. Uh, it requires 40 defense and 70 range, so I can't wear it. But when I can wear it, look at those stats. 50 plus magic defense, 55 range defense, 60 strength, plus 30 range attack bonus. Like everything is so good with this body. Another mystic staff. Coin go up, thank you. Daily sand collection, thank you. I, mean, I, I cannot make this up. The black dehyde, I just got it. And now we have a system update. Wilderness and equipment rebalance changes. The dragonhide armor, <laughs> it's already being nerfed. All right, it's not that big of a nerf. It's just minus plus five less uh, in magic defense. But man, <laughs> what is the timing? Uh, I was in the area, so I decided to complete a barrel chest for absolutely nothing. Kill count six. Still no loot. All right, interesting. We got a close crawl on the ground. Can we do this one? And this is gonna be step one. Completed. Completed. Complete. Subscribe. Oh my god, that's our first cask. Who's this? That's our first casket. Our first hard clue casket. What we want is black dehyde chaps or a magic short bow. Three, two, one, good luck. What the hell? That's a lot of items. Blue dehyde body T. Oh, why? I could get 40 defense right now and upgrade to a blue dehyde body T, but. Uh, I don't know. Armadillo page? Is that a dupe? I do have some Armadillo pages. <gasps> Wait, what? I almost got the full book. Look at that! And a Master Clue Scroll, which I probably cannot do. But we're gonna keep it for now, I guess. No way. I've actually been scouted. Well, I guess uh, no more Jason then. Interesting, okay. Look at this scout. Dude, seriously? <laughs> he says it's not a bot. I had I did not expect that. Oh my god, Rolf. The guy I should have killed at Grom Stronghold. How? Why was he waiting? That's the first birdhouse run I've done in so many weeks, so many months. And he was there waiting. <laughs> uh, at least we got a bird's egg, right? We, we got the egg. We got the egg. That teleblock kind of scared me. So I'm now at the mining skills. We're gonna do some smithing and some mining. And when I build up more confidence, I'll be back to the riskier stuff. Thank you guys for watching. We did a lot of good things. Leave the video a like. Can we go for... It was a long time since we did a PvP art online video. Can we get 5,000 likes? And of course, now that my private is off, it's a lot harder for people to donate towards the bounty. But it's still increased by 5 mil, then 10 mil, then 20 mil. Putting the bounty at 7 billion, 500 million. Good luck, gamers. You know the worst thing about private off? I have to make a new intro now. Please, can someone make it for me? I beg.